It is hot, it is sticky, and it's about seven o'clock at night. We've been on the road all day. And this is some beautiful, beautiful Oklahoma red dirt. Uh, everything they do here is in what I would call a micro plot. So it's two rows, it's 20 or 30 foot long. The micro plots have some advantages and disadvantages. Small plots like this are prone to variability. What they do here to counteract that is they provide us with multiple replications, which makes the data for that particular uh, location much stronger. The uh, first thing I want to look at is this, this pest that we see in, in Texas typically when we have the corn and other crops come out of the field, we tend to see a flush of chinch bugs or, or false chinch bugs out of those fields into sorghum fields in large numbers. It's really nice to be able to get in and really look at some of these insects that we see here. We see lots of the chinch bugs and false chinch bugs moving in. But what you have to do is you have to go through the field, count your heads, use a, a bucket, knock them off, count them, and then do that for a representative amount of uh, sorghum in the field to get your, um, your infestation levels. These plots are going to have anthracnose ratings and disease ratings and they'll also reflect in the yield and lodging scores because that's one of the major issues that we're going to have. We can already see it right here. We're seeing lodging issues uh, which is where the plant begins to fall down. By selecting a tolerant variety that's not susceptible you may still have the disease but you won't have it to the level that we are seeing. But in a test plot scenario, this is actually a good thing. And the reason I say that is we want to see products fail in these, pro in these product evaluations. If they don't fail, we won't know prior to selling it as a commercial product if it's going to be a viable product for a grower. So it's very important for us to see products in the toughest environments, and that's why we test them in so many different geographies and environments. You can kind of hear the thunder now. It's uh, starting to pop up real bad all around us. I'm headed to Enid next. It's all right, we're here out in the middle of uh, our test plot in Enid, Oklahoma, uh, where we're going to be doing our Sorghum Frontiers uh, field day coming up. These are some of the earlier maturities for this region. Uh, we're starting to put out a boot and starting to get into the early stages of flower. So what we're looking at is coming up here in the next 30 days or so, really getting into some colored grain um, and being able to see some differences in these hybrids. This is our 6402. It's a brachytic dwarf sorghum sedan grass. And behind it, you can see the conventional height, sorghum sedan grass. And these two products will yield very similar, but the shorter stature on this makes it a lot more manageable in the field and uh, the, the tonnage will still be there. So when looking for a premium product, the Brachytic Dwarf is an excellent trait to improve your standability in the field while also maximizing your yield. And I am just covered in mud. Um, we have High Plains Journal out here kind of uh, doing a little bit of uh, photography and camera crew, looking at some of the test plots that we're working with them on uh, for some of their events coming up. And I let them borrow my rubber boots, and so I'm stuck out here in my tennis shoes. So, that... All right, guys, we are out here just slugging through the mud. It is just really wet, but we came all the way to the back to show you two products, and just they're just in beautiful shape. Behind me is the 7232 and the 7401. These are BMR6 products with Brachytic Dwarf. What I love about that Brachytic Dwarf, you've heard me talk about it a lot, is it just tabletops that, that height, makes it super manageable. These will yield with pretty much anything in the market, despite the height difference. Don't be afraid of it. They'll tiller out. The leaf size, as you can see, is just 
phenomenal. And you can see that that BMR expression on that leaf is extremely evident. Excellent plant health. Just, it's just really exciting to see this in the field. Um, it was really worth the trip to the back of the plot. All right, guys, so we're finished in Oklahoma. Uh, tonight, headed to Kansas. 